I hope you guys can all hear me, see me. Uh, guys, welcome to our pre-match press conference ahead of tomorrow's game against uh, SEs Bengal. Today's uh, press conference will be addressed by our head coach, uh, Des Buckingham. <coughs> the process remains the same as always. If you have a question, please put your name in the chat box. And uh, once I take your name, you can ask your question. Yes, uh, hi guys. Apurba, first as always. Yes, uh, good afternoon, coach. This is Apurba from Govion Sports. My question is to you that the club has announced the inclusion of Vinit Rai yesterday. According to you, what are the aspects that he would bring to the team for the next upcoming season, ongoing season? Sorry. Yeah, I think he has a, a wonderful skill set and I've spoken since I arrived here about having the best Indian players at this club and he certainly fits that profile um, for, for that and also how we want to play. Um, and what he also does is he, he contributes to a, an already good midfield with us and just gives us different options, whether it's to start or to change the game up should we need to um, at any point. Thank you, Coach. Just a follow-up question is that uh, what is your assessment on the performance of Mohamed Nawaz, goalkeeper, this season so far? With what, sorry? Assessment on Mohamed Nawaz. Assessment on Mohamed Nawaz, goalkeeper. Yeah, well, Nawaz has played the, the, last nine game, uh, the last nine games. Um, and I think it's, you know, it's, uh, it's easy to pull out mistakes. Um, but I think it's also important that you reflect upon the, the nine games as a whole. You know, there's some important moments that goalkeepers especially don't get credit for um, when the team go on to get results. And I can certainly use examples off the top of my head, like Bengaluru, where he says uh, he saves the penalty from Chetri that allows us to go on and win that game. So, you know, it's, it's not necessarily just about looking at, at mistakes. Um, it's making sure in the context of nine games that you've got a young 21-year-old goalkeeper um, who hadn't played in nine months before this season started, but is also an experienced goalkeeper in playing over 50 games in this league. So I'm happy with him um, up until this point uh, as we look across the nine games. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Aburba. Hali. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. This is Hali from Football in India. So, Coach, you started the uh, season on a very positive note, winning five out of six games initially. But then after that, in the last three matches, you have uh, you have only been able to manage one draw and two losses. And in the meantime, you have considered 10 goals, which is obviously a not good number. So, according to you, what went wrong in the last three matches? We, we've made um, too, many, too many mistakes uh, as a collective, as a team. Uh, we've made too many mistakes uh, individually, more so in the last game. So... You look at the, the games, we've obviously gone back through and reviewed. Um, if there's a consistency to those mistakes, then that's something that we can really uh, focus and work on. And that's something that we did in the lead up to the last game. Um, but if they're individual mistakes, they do happen. And you hope that when they happen, they don't happen as often as they did maybe in the last game in particular. So um, across the context of the nine games, rather than just the three, you know, we're, we're a very uh, young, um, I say young, we're in our infancy, it's only nine games that we've had together. We've had a lot of change, but across the nine games, not just the three that we've just played, um, I think we've played some extremely good football. Um, and the first half or the first 60 minutes of the last game, I was delighted with uh, the, the quality, the movement and the chances that we created. It's, it's just now about finding that balance and making sure that whether it's a collective or an individual, um, those mistakes, that they don't end up in the back of our goal. Okay, thank you, coach. Uh, just a follow-up question. What are your thoughts on your opponents, uh, East Bengal? They also haven't been able to register a single win this season. So how are you looking forward to the game? What's your strategy? <laughs> it's uh, when, Whenever you play a, a team that's just had a change in coach, I think anywhere around the world, sometimes you see an uplift, not just in performance, but of results. So it's something that we're very aware of. Uh, and I'll go back to what I've said on here several times. I don't think it's... Um, where, where teams are in the league doesn't at the moment play a reflection maybe on the outcomes of some of the games that take place. So we're very aware of the threats they pose. We see an uplift in both performance and obviously the result from them in the last game. But the focus is, is on us and making sure that that 60-minute performance that we had against Adisha in the first half onwards, we need to make that more consistent across 90 minutes. And the focus will be making sure that defensively we are sound. 
Um, so we approached again, but the focus is us. Okay, thank you and good luck for your next match. Thank you. Thanks, Ali. Uh, Arjit from Half Football. Am I audible, coach? Yes, I got you. Uh, okay, coach. Uh, I am Arjit from Half Football. Hope you're doing good. So I have two questions for you today. My first question is that uh, we saw Viknesh Dekshnamurthy being sucked off in the last match after suffering an injury. Uh, will he be available for selection for tomorrow's match? And also, are there any other injury concerns in the camp? Yeah, so Vignesh wasn't subbed off through injury. Um, Vignesh uh, has only just returned to, to play. You know, he played the first game and, and obviously we lost him for six or seven weeks. Um, so we only actually returned the game before where he got 20 minutes off of the bench. Um, so what, what he did was after 60 minutes, uh, it started to cramp up and that's the body sign that it's starting to uh, show signs of slowing down and maybe show some warning signs that if we don't look after the young man, that we... Uh, we could potentially lose him again. Um, so it was about building his fitness and getting minutes into him firstly. So we, we made the decision for the player welfare and um, to get him off, but he's, he's okay. He's recovered very well and he's in contention again to start tomorrow. And then in terms of injuries elsewhere, no, we're, we're good uh, as we were last, as same as the last game. So we have everyone available. And of course now the additional player um, to come into the squad as well. Okay, coach, uh, one last question. What was your initial impression on the stunner from Ahmed Jow the last match? And what will you be expecting from him for tomorrow? I was very impressed with Jaho, and I have been um, since the start of the season. Since I first arrived here, you know, he's such an influential player on the field and he's been so consistent in his performances over the past couple of seasons in this league. To have someone that's so open-minded, uh, so willing to adapt his game uh, and not take away from his game, but actually try and develop and add to it, um, he's been an absolute pleasure to work with. And not only a pleasure to work with, but the quality of his play you know, and Adisha, especially first half, all the way through to that 60-minute mark, he's really taken a, a grasp of that and is starting to drive into that position. So I'm very happy with Jahul, and it's important now that he continues to perform and continues to develop his game to, to see how good we can get him. Okay, thank you, Coach. Uh, wishing you all the best for tomorrow's match. Thank you. Thanks, Ajit. Harsh? Yeah, uh, good afternoon, Coach. Afternoon. Uh, last season, Mumbai played with two foreign centre-backs. So they had Paul and uh, Hanan Santan and back and they conceded 18 goals uh, in 20 matches. This season, uh, in nine matches, Mumbai have conceded the same number of goals already. Uh, I know you said previously that uh, having just one foreign centre-back doesn't put the team at a disadvantage. Would you still uh, stand by what you said or do you think uh, one foreign centre-back is, uh, the lack of one foreign centre-back is hurting the team? No, I'll stick to what I said. I think I'm, I'm very happy with the players that we have here. Um, I think we've got uh, Raul Becky, we've got uh, Valpuya has applied and, and then Metab also there, you know, to partner for. And I think with the qualities of those, we have enough across that back line. And it's important that we don't overreact. You know, it's not, we're not in a position where we, um, you know, we don't want to concede 10 goals in three games, but that's that's my job to, to work on that with the team. That's the team's role to, to try and put that onto the field. But again, in the context of where we are, uh, in nine games, we've scored more goals than anybody else. Uh, we will fix up defensively. Um, but it's only been the last three games where that's that's looked like that. You know, we've had two clean sheets uh, earlier in the season, and um, they were the same players that were taken to the field. So it's making sure that we we obviously address those issues, but not overreact. Uh, Coach, I have another question. Uh, most of the goals and assists have been coming through Emad Jahu and uh, Igor Angulo. Uh, do you do you would you say the team is being a bit over dependent on these two? No, I wouldn't say so. I think Igor was brought here because he was a leading goal scorer uh, and that's a target for him again this year. You know, So I think he's doing his job and doing it well in that respect. I think Jahul was continued on from where he left last year. But if you look across our team, we've had goals and assists come from, you know, not just those two, we've got Bipin Singh, uh, when Vikram that's came on, you know, Casio's provided goals and assists. So I wouldn't go as far to say we're reliant upon those two players um, when you break down the statistics of the goals and where they've come from. I think it's uh, we're probably a, a more rounded side than that. All right. Thank you, Coach. Uh, all the best for tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks, Ash. Uh, Shandan. Hello, Coach. I'm Shandan from Sports Kira. Uh, so I wanted to ask you that SA is, is Bengal has played out two draws now and they you know, prefer a low block system. So how do you want to tackle that system? And it's becoming difficult for opponents to create chances in that system. Yeah, um, like I said, with the, with the change of coach and maybe the change of their approach, um, we're not, you know, 
we can, we can speculate and, and guess what they may do tomorrow. Um, and if that's to sit off and sit deep, like you've suggested, then we need to be uh, very smart in how we move the ball. Um, but I'll just go back to what I've always said. The focus this week has been on, on us and making sure that we can add to our game style. I was very happy with how we played out from the back, how we played through midfield. And now it's important that we refine that, um, create and finish in that final stage, that final third product. Because that's not just going to be important in this game, that's going to be important as the season progresses. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Anton. Uh, Clinton. Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, coach, my question to you will be that uh, we have seen that East Bengal has a new coach and uh, we have also seen some kind of positive result in their first match with Renedi Singh. So how do you take this match uh, having Renedi on their side? Yeah, the same as we approach any game. I go back to you know the first game we had against Goa or even the result we had against ATK. We've approached every game in the same way, which is to prepare our players as well as we possibly can for what we may face. And we'll do the same. We've done the same for this game. And then it's been about making sure that we're very clear on our game plan and our game style going in. So again, the, the focus is on preparing them for as well as we can and making sure that people are very much aware of their roles within the team um, for when we have the ball as well. All right. Thank you so much, Coach. Wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Clinton. Sandeep. Hi, Coach. Uh, this question is a little for uh, our edification as how how this happens. So, you spoke a little bit about uh, having to maintain focus for a long period of time. Last time you said 15 minutes. So, uh, what do you think breaks that focus and how hard is it to get it back? Yeah, I think there's, in any game, you know, I watched the game last night, there's, there's key moments in games that, that can change the momentum. Um, and I say momentum is recognizing those moments. You know, uh, taking those chances at important times. And I spoke about that after our Hyderabad game. Um, and then it's making sure that when you recognize you can't have control of a game for 90 minutes, as much as we all want to, uh, would like to, um, momentum does shift. And sometimes the scoreline doesn't reflect that always. Um, and there's times in the game where you, you may not have momentum. Um, and it's important we recognize those moments. And uh, we, we come through those moments a bit better than we have been doing. And again, that's an area of, of learning and focus for us as well as making sure we tidy up the other areas that are going to help contribute uh, and complement the uh, the really good attacking football that we've, we've got show. Okay, thank you, Coach. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, Sandeep. Uh, guys, if there's any further questions, I'll request you to put your names in the chat box. Otherwise, we can um, conclude the press conference. Just give it a few. It's Harsh, I see you have another one. Yeah, uh, Coach, just wanted to know about Vikram and uh, Roland Borges. Will they be available for tomorrow? No, um, so they're both they're both still missed tomorrow. So again, as they missed the last one, um, so uh, Vikram uh, not too far away, uh, likely to, to be back involved uh, the game after against uh, Bengaluru, and uh, Roland uh, won't be available for this one, and will likely miss Bengaluru as well. All right, and coach, uh, while Puya was missing from the bench last match, is there any uh, concern? No, no concern. Um, just with Fall coming back in, we felt we had defensive cover uh, in uh, Meta. Um, and Meta but obviously played the week before so it was trying to get a more attack minded player on the bench should we need it um, because we already had obviously uh, Manda um, Rakib and Meta so we just felt that we had enough defensive cover um, but nothing nothing, uh, nothing more than that Alright, thank you coach Thank you Thanks Arsh well, If there's no further questions we conclude the press conference Alright, thank you so much coach Thank you, thank you guys See you Thank you coach Thanks, guys. We'll see you in three days' time ahead of our next game against uh, Bengaluru FC. Thank you.